what's going on. As you can see, there is a pipe that's installed already in uh, Camelot. Uh, I think that pipe is 8 feet wide, 5 feet high, and about 8 feet long. These are the pipes that they are going to use to drain the water out of the Camelot moat. Uh, I'm giving a picture and an update as to what's going on. Okay, this is what the piping system look like. I'm going to take a panorama of the route that they came all the way out here from uh, Escalaba Street to uh, Night Road right now. Ultimately, they will end up on uh, King Arthur Drive where the Camelot Moat ends, or starts rather. If you will look down at this particular section of the pipe, you can see behind there where that, I guess that's a, a tractor caterpillar. What they do is as they install the pipe, they cover it up, pack it down, and move forward to another section. So as I said before, they came all the way from Excalibur Street. And right now they're at Night Road. Once they cross Night Road, they go, once they cross Night Road, they're going to end up at the Camelot Moat, which is on King Arthur Drive. As you can see, once they put the pipe in the ground, uh -huh. they cover it up with uh, rocks. Then they put dirt on top of it, they pack it in, and they move on to another section. Right, you put rocks on the bottom and the top. Uh, my neighbor here says they put rocks on the bottom and the top of this particular piping system. This is very unique. I've only seen one piping system like two times I've seen this. I've seen this in California. And I've seen it in Las Vegas, Nevada. As you can see, this is some of the heavy equipment they have here. And this is my neighbor here, who is out here walking around looking at this particular operation. I'm scanning around. This is some of the, I guess, what do you call these, Connie? Oh, that's the sheeting. This is the sheeting that they put in beside the various houses through the gap so they won't have when, it, when they rock it in and they install the new pipes it does not have an effect on the house right but it doesn't want to, it doesn't cave it in it, it doesn't cave in so okay talk loud this is oh, one of my okay. neighbors he live here on Aaron Drive and he's been out here ever since the operation began so yeah. <laughs> Mr. Kali, what do you think of this operation? Well, so far, uh, they're doing pretty good. They haven't had no, no major problems yet until they got to this gas pipe here. Mm -hmm. And the, the city uh, gas company wouldn't uh, move the gas pipe, so the company had to build, build uh, construct up under the gas pipe. So okay. they're ready to go next week and continue on towards the moat. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, what do you think about the contractors and how they have treated their neighbors out here in Camelot as far as the work is concerned? Oh, so far the contractors have been real, real cooperative. Uh, they've been real nice. Uh, they've been looking out for everybody, looking out for the people uh, whose houses are being affected. That is very, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is, the, I'm William Small from Camelot Civic League, and I'm trying to give an update to the community as to what's going on. Thank you. The construction company that's doing this uh, work is called R.W. Hall. And they're doing a tremendous amount of a job here. As you see, they are now getting ready to dig a hole in Knight uh, Road and continue on from Knight to uh, Air, uh, King Arthur Drive. I'm going to go over to King Arthur Drive now and show you where they will ultimately end up at. Okay, right now I'm taking a picture from uh, King Arthur Drive. As you can look straight ahead, you'll see the, uh, I guess that's a caterpillar or whatever you want to call it. A forklift. It's a forklift, I'm sorry. And from that forklift, they cut, they're going to start laying pipe all the way from over there on Night Road and coming towards King Arthur Drive. From King Arthur Drive, they're going to go over to the Camelot Moat. I'm going to walk over to the Camelot Moat right now and show you the level of water that's there and we hopefully that when the storm hits tonight or tomorrow that the pipes that we have already laid out here will be adequate to move the, the water out of here. 
I'm walking towards the Camelot Moat. The Camelot Moat runs approximately one mile around the Camelot community out here in Deep Creek. Normally, the water is at, if you can look over there, it's at four and a half feet. That's the water level. We keep the water level at four and a half feet. So hopefully, when the storm hits tomorrow or tonight with the new piping system, we should be able to move this water out of this moat. Right below me, you see how they have sand bagged across the old drainage system so that if the water rises above uh, four and a half feet, it will be able to be taken out of this this uh, this moat. I'm gonna scan the area around here and show you that this is a pretty nice area. The moat is good right now. It's calm because the storm is coming right here. I'm gonna give you a a view from my. This is my backyard right there that you're looking at. And my house is right, my property is right on the moat. Right here. Okay, so this is a view of the Camelot moat right now when the water level is low. So hopefully tonight or tomorrow with the new drains, the partially completed, that we'll be able to have the water move out here successfully. And also, we want to thank the city of Chesapeake and Mayor Alan Krasnall for, for uh, allocating the funds so this job could start. We've been waiting nine, 11 years for this uh, work to begin. And finally, it, it has begun. And hopefully, from what I can find out from the contractors, they are ahead of schedule. So thanks again from uh, the Camelot Civic League to the mayor and the city council representatives who helped make this possible. At present, I'm in back of Excalibur Street and you will see where the piping is, has ended here. Uh, they started on, they on uh, Night Road right now and when the water started running from the moat, it would end up here and from here we have uh, water pumps and these water pumps will pump the water out of this particular section here as you see the pipes and it will ultimately run out here and then it will end up down this little screen will go out to uh, Deep Creek Boulevard right now. Uh, the picture is not very clear because the grass has weeds have grown up over here by where the pipe, where the water runs. So right now you can see, if you look over here closely, you will see uh, those commercial pumps. And if the storm is very large, so a great deal of rain accumulates, these pumps will kick in and the water will successfully be hopefully pumped out of the Camelot moat and there should not be any flooding. This is uh, actually, from some perspective, this is the end of the chain from the Camelot moat here. If you can see here, you can see this as the end of the pipe, which is at, uh, this pipe here as the end is on uh, Excalibur Street, right here, this pipe. Which the water will, as you see there, there's a, a little generator which will power the uh, pump the water pump to carry the, the water out of Camelot. If you look here, you'll see that uh, there's a pile of dirt. This dirt is used to pack down the sections where once they install the pipe in the ground, they put gravel on top of it, pack it down, then put uh, dirt on it, pack that down. And they roll over it uh, until it's solid. As you can see, this road here that goes all the way from Excalibur Street to Aaron Drive. Over there, under this, under this earth, there are pipes that run all the way back to 